Hey, Solomon Israel. This is first off, I just want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And want to just say peace and blessings to the elect document that's out there teaching in truth. Uh, I just wanted to go into a few uh, scriptures just based, basically going into the point of being not over-righteous, but just having hope in the Lord. So the first scripture I want to get, uh, it's in the book of Romans. I'll start at the third chapter. In the 19th verse, it says, Now we know that whatsoever things... Salaki, I'm going to start again. This is Romans 3 and 19. It says, Now we know that what things soever the law said is said to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before the Most High. So it says that them that are under the law, they're all guilty before the Most High. And the reason why is because no one was set up to keep the law perfectly, man. The scriptures tell you in Romans the 8th chapter that the creature was made subject to vanity. So I'm just going to read down to the 20th verse. It says, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. So that's basically how you establish what sin is according to the law, you know. And that's why no flesh can be justified in the sight of the law. Because the flesh is corruption, man. That's why, you know, uh, brothers that are within the body of Great Millstone, we, we push uh, having a vibration of being spiritual, man. And not being fleshly, you know. But just going on to the 21st verse, it says, But now the righteousness of the Most High without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. So, because you got men on the earth, you know, we always teach uh, that the law basically is a schoolmaster and you are, you are supposed to keep the law. The things that you're able to do, you know, within this flesh, you do to the best of your ability. But we know that we're not justified by the law itself, you know. But I'm going to go on to the 22nd verse. It says, Even the righteousness of the Most High, which is by faith of Yahweh Shah unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. You know? So the righteousness that the elect of the nation of Israel is going to have is going to come by believing and having faith on the Savior, Yahweh Shah, man. You know? Because that sacrifice that he made, you know, we're basically cleansed by the blood. Uh, but the point I wanted to get is in the 23rd verse, it says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. You know, that's the point. So that's why it's important not to be over-righteous in the faith, man, but always continue to have hope and trust in the Lord, man. Because there's nothing that we can do in and of, of ourselves that's going to justify ourselves, man, in the sight of the Most High. I'm going to read that again. This is Romans 3 and 23. It says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. You know? So that's something to keep in your mind at all times, even though you don't want to use that as an excuse not to do what you're supposed to do, because we always go into, man, you know, you, you are supposed to do the things within the law that you're able to do to the best of your ability. And that brings me to another precept. I'm, it's actually in the same chapter. I'm just going to read down. Uh, this is Romans 3 and 31. It says, do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law. So you establish the law by your faith, you know, basically uh, you show your faith by keeping the law, you know, it goes hand in hand. But uh, I'm going to get another verse real quick. This is in the Apocrypha. This is in Sirach. You just bear with me, brothers. I'm going to try to go through the information as quickly as I can. Uh, this is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. Uh, it's in the 15th ver or the 15th chapter. I believe you can start at the 20th verse. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 15 verse 20. It says, therefore, by the deeds of the law. Hold on. Hold on just a second. So lock your brothers. It didn't go to it at first. There it goes. Okay, this is Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 15 verse 20. It says, He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither hath he given any man license to sin. So it's clear to the point right there, man. The Most High, just because we have liberty and grace in the faith of Yahweh Shah, that doesn't give you a pass just to do what the hell you want to do, man. You know, which leads me to the... Uh, the next scripture that I want to get, I kind of just wanted to segue, uh, just basically 
along with not being over righteousness, man, it's important to always keep in mind that we have to hope in the Lord because Yahweh Shah, he is the salvation. That's our only uh, hope of being delivered out of all the destruction and the madness to come, man. That's our only righteousness is through the sacrifice that he made, you know. So we always have to continue to have faith, hope, and believe on our Savior, you know. Uh, so I'm going to go to the Psalms real quick. Just kind of the segue into the next point, you know, having hope in the Lord, you know. And just bear with me, brothers. This is in Psalms. Uh, it's kind of deep in the back. It's Psalms 119. And you can just start at the 40th verse. And if it's going slow, I'll put it up in the post-production just to, you know, so brothers can be edified. But this is Psalms uh, 119 and 40. It says, uh, Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Salakia. Yeah, it says Psalms uh, 119 and 40. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts, quicken me in thy righteousness. And hold on just a sec here. That's not the one I actually wanted to get. It's actually 45, Salakia. So like Psalms 119 and 45, it says, and I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. So, yeah, that's the point I wanted to get. It says, and I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. So, we always uh, understand and teach that, you know, through the grace in Yahweh Shah, we have liberty, man, in this world to maneuver and do what we have to do, you know. But we don't use our liberty in Yahweh Shah as an occasion for the flesh to go off. I'm going to read that again. This is Psalms 119 and 45. It says, and I will walk at liberty for I seek thy precepts. So, you know, right now during this time of grace, man, this is the time to get yourself in order, man, according to the precepts, according to the word, man, which we know according to Psalms uh, 40 and 7, that the word is talking about Yahweh Shah, because it says, for lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. So that's, that's, that's our uh, basically work to show our faith, man, and, and diligently seeking the precepts and applying it to our life, man. That's how you're supposed to walk in the liberty. So, I'm going to go on to the next one that I want to get. Uh, it's actually, I'm going to go back to the book of Romans. Uh, this is in Romans 8. Just bear with me, brothers. I'm, I'm trying to flush the information out as quickly as possible, so just bear with me. Uh, this is Romans chapter 8, and I'm going to start at, I'll start at 24. Uh, Romans 8 and 24, it says, um, and just, you know, more emphasis on that hope. It says, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why does he yet hope for? So, basically, if the Most High gave us whatever we wanted, man, wh why would it be a reason to hope, you know? I'm going to read that again. It says, Romans 8 and 24, for we are saved by hope. And that hope that we are saved by is in uh, the promises that was made to our forefathers, man. That that deliverer is going to be set up in a lot of times to redeem his chosen elect, you know. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why did he yet hope for, you know. So... That's the importance of hope, and you can go furthermore to expound on that in Hebrews the 11th chapter. Uh, but I'm going to just keep going. It says, uh, but if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. So having faith, man, a, a huge part of having uh, faith is having patience, man. You know, I'll read that again. It says, but if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it, man? So even just like in practical terms, like, you know, you expect your paycheck, you know, to be in your account every week, every two weeks, every month. But it's no it's no guarantee that you're going to receive that paycheck, you know. But for that hope, that's what gives you the patience to wait for it, you know. And that's the same thing in the truth, man, in the faith, man. You For the things that you see not, man, then with patience, do you wait for it, you know. But uh, I'm going to go to another one. Uh, <clears throat> this is in, this is also in the book of Romans. Uh, actually, it's the same chapter. Or Salakia. Uh, 
I actually want to go back to Sirac Salaki. I'm going to go to Sirac again. Because that hope is important, man. That's why it's important not to be uh, over-righteous, man. Because the scriptures tells us that our righteousness in of itself is as a filthy rags, man. So we always have to keep our mindset on the hope that's to come, man. You know, and try to do the best to your ability within that liberty and that grace that you've been bestowed, you know. Uh, let's see. This is Sirac. Uh, I'm going to start at 14. And this is a beautiful scripture right here. This is Sirach uh, 14 and 2, man. Because I know a lot of times when you try it in the faith, man, I know your faith get weak. You, sometimes your faith gets weak. But this is not the time to get weak, man, in the faith. It's time to go pray to the Lord for strength, man, to get stronger. Uh, this is Sirach 14 and 2. It says, Blessed is he who whose conscience hath not condemned him and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord. So the scripture says, blessed is that man whose consciousness hath not condemned him and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord, you know? So a man who never lose sight of that hope in the Lord, man, he's going to be blessed, you know? So that's important, you know, to keep that in your mind, you know, as we go on from day to day. Uh, and it's another one I wanted to get in the same book. It's just in the 16th chapter. I'm going to go to the 16th chapter real quick. Uh, let's see. This is Sirach 16 and 22. It says, Who can declare the works of his justice or who can endure them? For his covenant is afar off and the trial of all things is in the end. So a lot of times, you know, brothers, you know, your faith get weak and you and you, you you lose hope because of the trials and the, and the turmoil and all the hell that you're catching in your life, man. You know, even though it's written that these things must come, you know, because the scriptures liken the men of the Lord as to, to gold and gold when it's tried in fire. That was that's what makes it pure, you know, and the most high right now, he's basically refining and, and purging out those impurities in our character so that we may we may be found worthy in his sight i'm gonna read that again it says uh this is uh, sirach or ecclesiasticus 16 and 22 who can declare the works of his justice or who can endure them for his covenant is afar off and the trial of all things is in the end so it says the trial of all things is in the end man so we're looking at the basically the the, the light at the end of the tunnel so to speak and at the glory in the reward for being patient, man. You know, basically the, the, the end of our hope, you know. So all the trials, all the hell, all the adversity, all the afflictions, the heartaches that you go through, man. You know, it's only a setup to justify the end, you know. The reward, you know. The end game, so to speak, you know. So that should be more reasons to give praise and to be more hopeful in the faith, man. You know. Uh, but I'm going to get ready to close out. But it's one more I wanted to get, you know. And it's in the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter. I actually just called it, but I'm going to get it, you know. And you brothers, you know, we always going to just Hebrews, the, the entire 11th chapter. That's just a good book to just build your faith, you know, build your, your spirit, you know. Because it's uh, great examples of great men. And the great examples of faith that was shown, you know. Uh, but this is uh, Hebrews 11, and I'm going to jump to the 6th verse. Uh, Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. <laughs> I'm going to read that again. It says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. So, you know, a lot of times you get in your mind just because you're doing certain things that's according to the law and you might be in the right. But that doesn't justify you, you know, because if it was up to the works of the law, man, we would all be dead and there would be no need for a savior. But it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him, you know. So you, you have to have faith, man. It's, it's, it's a balance, man. You Obviously, you're supposed to keep the work or you're supposed to, to do the works and keep the law as a showing of your faith. But the key ingredient, man, the end all be all is faith, man. 
but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is that and i found that beautiful in itself too and i've read this scripture multiple times but i never saw this it says that for he that cometh to the most high be must believe that he is and if you break down the most high's name yahweh that's what it na his name means he is he is to be or he exists so you have to believe in your mind, man, that he's the, the, the end all be all, you know, he's that omnipotent, ubiquitous, you know, being in the heavens, man. And it says, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you have to believe that in your mind that all the trials that you're going through, man, is just the end of your faith, man. And that the end of your faith, man, there's going to be a great reward if you've diligently, you know, uh, seeked out the most high, you know, through faith. So with that, you know, I just wanted to just basically just emphasize, man, that, you know, it is important to keep the law, be charitable, be a good brother, just be a good person, man, in every aspect of your life, man. But at the same time, we can't be over-righteous, man, looking down on another brother because maybe you may be stronger in one position where he may be weaker, man. You know, we supposed to build each other up, man. And ultimately, we are, are all our, the common denominator is, is our hope is supposed to be resting in the Lord, man. You know? So with that, I want to just give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And want to just say peace and salutations to the elect brothers that's out there preaching the word throughout the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity. And with that, I want to just say Shalom.